Buxton in Victoria's Yarra Valley. And it's hard to believe on a day like today that where I am now was smack bang in the middle of a life-threatening inferno. I could see it coming towards us, the, the, the smoke and, and the noise, and, and I just couldn't believe what was going on. Mitch McRae runs the Buxton Trout and Salmon Farm. When I did get outside, I could see my neighbour's house going up, and I was you know, fairly shocked at that. Most of us can only imagine the devastation and the heartbreak of seeing your life's work wiped out. I could see all the fish were dying around the pond, so I was trying to work out what to do with those guys. And my wife did yell at me a couple of times to forget about the fish and then get back here. And... Can you describe the scene the next day after the fire? Sure. Well, the next, the next, well, well, when it got to daylight, uh, everything around the place was a, was a real mess. There was 300,000 dead fish. Every pond was just a sea of white bellies. There was burnt fences and sheds and all trees over, and the place was pretty much a disaster. Mitch was facing bankruptcy. It was friends and neighbours who'd lost so much themselves who came to his rescue. Some of them had lost their own houses and things, so it was, you know, it was pretty humbling to have them come over and, and help Absolutely. you clean up. We ended up getting about um, just over 10 tonne of fish back on the place, and that gave us enough to get started again and get some babies going, and just to sort of feel like we're making some progress and going forward. The rebuild is slowly paying off. The farm's at 70% production and the tourists are back. So Mitch, I don't have a very good record with fishing. Are you guaranteed that I'm going to catch something today? Nikki, if you can't catch one here, you will not catch one anywhere. The odds are stacked <laughs> in your favour. Perfect, because you know what? I've got four hungry boys at home. We could be lucky here with a, with a bit of luck. I saw some jumping before. Do you know how to cast? Um, yeah. not really. First of all, what you do is you, you, you put your finger up and just hold the line up against the rod like that. Yeah. Fold the, the spool over, and then go sideways like that, and then let go. That's it. Oops, right next to you. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be easy. As a young kid, were you always into fishing? I always liked fishing, yeah, but I never thought I'd actually be a fish farmer. Oh, there's a boy. That was a boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, got it strong. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks huge. That's dinner sorted. Fishing here is only half the story. It's what Mitch does with his trout that's put Buxton on the map. All right, Mitch, so this is where the famous Buxton smoke trout is? This is it, the wood-fired smokehouse oh. or mountain ash timber. And this is them. They've been in the smoker oh. about five hours. Oh, my God, can you smell And they're that? ready to go. Oh, no, it's not smell of vision They can't. <laughs> <laughs> not we are going to have to um, try them in a sec, oh, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh from the rack. Oh, that's magic. So, Mitch, I loved catching the fish, but this is my favourite part of the day. This is amazing. Yep, I can vouch for that delicious fresh trout. It's definitely humbling to meet someone like Mitch and to hear how the whole community rallied together when everyone was suffering so much. Would you do it all again? Um, to rebuild? Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't walk away from it, no. I've been doing it for 20 years. So it was a choice of either give up and walk away or, you know, go again. I didn't want to give up that, so, yeah. Every so often you can be lucky enough to meet someone in life who reminds you that, yes, life is good and you should enjoy every moment. And that's how I feel today after having met Mitch at his beautiful trout farm. And I hope you feel the same way too. Until next time, remember, enjoy the good life. And I'm just going to keep trying to catch tonight's dinner. And I've got one. <laughs>